What's good, mate? Tino here. To State of the Gate 2. Honestly, um, yeah, I was supposed to bring this earlier and talk about this topic earlier, a couple of days ago, because within the stream of um, from Monday, Joss Horner also leaked. I don't think it was by mistake or unintended, but he also showcased the Stay Frosty pack and revealed the content. I mean, not in detail, so we don't know the names or the caliber of the weapons, but it looks pretty neat. We have 11, yeah, 11 items, two melee weapon. The one is also an axe, exactly the thing that I said <laughs> in my prediction video a couple, I think one and a half weeks ago. Way less clothing accessories uh, initially fought, which is better in my opinion because I already got enough and maybe the rest of them will be found by a lootable only. One down. Gotta be shitting me. I should reload. Still not reloaded, cool. That is straight BS. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't stand one single shot. One single shot, okay? And this guy is a bullet sponge, finally, <laughs> in his head. Complete waste of ammunition for this shite. Yeah, and so many bigger caliber assault rifles, like um, at least three, t three of them. One even looks like a G36C, um, and the last one looks like a FAL. Then we have a hunting rifle in the second row, and one to the left looks like a... Well, it doesn't look suppressed, but a... I don't know, it's maybe a shotgun. And the one below looks like a UMP or... Well, not an UMP, but... It's also an assault rifle, maybe 5.56 or a 45 caliber weapon. I'm also blanking in the screenshot so you know what I'm talking about. Then it also seems that we'll get another mod. At least a... Yeah, I think a facility mod. In the four last row. Item number nine and then <laughs> two number nines. One number six with extra G and something like that. I don't, I don't know it word by word. I haven't played GTA San Andreas for like, I don't know, 11 years or something. It's been a long time. And yeah, if you want some more, or not actually more in details, but I think we'll have a lot of neat new weapons, especially the axe, something I'm looking forward to. I hope high lethality or at least high speed on a weapon like the high angle rescue hatchet of the critical response pack always parking reversed like in real life really bro come on really at least i made it in time stupid punk um yeah but I, what i wanted to say is giving a shout out once again to prime congress is prime because he spoke about that days ago and i always recommend you his um Outline stream summaries. He is pretty much the fastest one in delivering the news of each important stream from Undead Labs. He does something similar that I did um, in the past few months, but I can't keep up with that because I often told you that uh, the streams of Undead Labs take time when it's zero o'clock, so midnight here where I'm living. So most of the time, um, proceeding to sleep or try to sleep. At that time, um, I'm having trouble to sleep since a lot of years. Uh, so each and every minute is precious to me, especially since I'm working two jobs simultaneously. And I have to learn for uni, so I can't keep up with all the streams. And most of them I watch yeah, recaps of Congress Prime and a couple of minutes in a sped-up version of the streams. So there's nothing more to do. Nothing more to say. Just wanted to share this quick information. I think 150% of you already <laughs> seen that information and saw that screenshot because I also blended it or showed you the sequence where Joe Swarner went to the Bonnie Brooker in my, I think the last video? Yeah, it was the last one where, my, where I shared my honest opinion about the lethal zone and that I'm positively looking forward to the lethal zone to be honest. Even though many critiquing 
that this game doesn't... Yeah, thank you very much, Twain. I like you, but you're interrupting me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it since many months, even before they announced it in... I think it was late September. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yes, yes, definitely. Because it's the first time we gain an opportunity to play a difficulty above Nightmare Zone, which doesn't work by mods or doesn't need any mods that constantly stop working or bugging, especially after new um, version drops or new update drops, so can finally play the vanilla version intended by Undead Labs. We have all the Blake versions of the Zs, the Freaks, we gain less influence, we get have to pay more materials, we have, in other words, higher uh, requirements for leveling up, for example. Now it costs 12, and then it will cost, I think, additional 25%, so yeah, 15 units to get infirmary level 1 to level 2. Facilities that ask you to have 20 materials will then need 25, so yeah, 25% more resources, a um, couple of percents less influence gained by killing special freaks or maybe also doing missions and defeating play cards. Plague parameter or the, the timer is set by minus 50%, so just slightly above 5 minutes. It fills up faster, the parameter. Um, zombies deal more damage, more long-term term traumas and injuries, stuff like that. I already discussed it. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Don't want to share my same opinion a second time, because I will definitely attempt a challenge, and I already know, because I'm not that cocky, not overconfidential, because I haven't played Set of DK2 very regularly in the past two months, so I know that I will lose a couple of legacy survivors, but I will still try to... Um, Jesus, I haven't finished the bounties. Something I reckon now. Should do that off-screen, maybe. So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day, a great time. Yeah, bye.